Want to get started with Azure Virtual Desktop right now, but think it's too complicated? Well, we're gonna make everything so simple that you can deploy it in just one step with the AVD Fast Start Blueprint. I'm Dean Safola, and this is the Azure Academy. First off, I wanna give a shout out to the ASCII team for creating the blueprint to help everybody else out. So please click the like button to thank them for all their hard work. Now, some of you might be thinking that you don't need a blueprint because you can just use the Azure portal or something like the AVD Quick Start, which of course I did a video on a little while back. And yes, you can if you have access to the Azure commercial cloud. But did you know that there's actually several different Azure clouds that are dedicated for certain countries and governments? Now don't run away on me because you can use this same solution in the Azure commercial cloud too. And it never hurts to learn more about automation because that's how you can make yourself the most valuable person in your organization. So here's a chance to up your automation game. That was easy. All right, enough of that. Let me show you how this works. Now I've got a link in the video description called ABD Blueprint that looks like this. Once there on the GitHub page, you can click this green code box and then select download zip and save that to your computer. Now you'll want to right click on that file and then go to properties and be sure to check the unblock box, then click OK. If you skip this step, you're not going to be able to edit the files. Now extract to the C drive and create a new folder called AVD Blueprint. Then navigate over to there and open the example and samples folder. And inside there, you want to open the deploy with a single script folder. And then with your favorite editor, and I'll choose VS Code, open the PowerShell and the parameters files. In the parameters file, we have four lines that we need to edit and then we're off to the races. And the first two items that we need are your Azure subscription ID and your Azure Active Directory tenant ID. And you can certainly grab those out of PowerShell with a few commands, but I'll just jump over to the Azure portal, find the subscription that I want and hit the copy button, paste that back in VS Code, and then go over here to the Azure Active Directory and then copy my tenant ID with that button right there, go back to VS Code and paste it in the appropriate place. Now the third box here is for the name of our Azure Active Directory domain services, and I'll call that msazureacademy.com. And the last thing that we need to do here is just choose our Azure environment. If you're in the commercial cloud like I am, you want it to use Azure Cloud, and if you're in one of the other environments, just select that and delete the others. Now there are many other parameters that you can see here that we could edit if we really wanted to, and I'll just let you take a look at those on your own. Now let's flip over to the PowerShell file so we can execute our code. Now the rights you're going to need to do this are going to be the Azure Active Directory Global Administrator and the Subscription Owner. And from looking at the parameters block here of our PowerShell script, it's going to just pull in all those values from our parameters file that we just edited, so we don't need to make any changes to the code. Let's just kick it off, and then we're prompted to log on to Azure, and the first login here is your subscription owner. The code's going to proceed to churn through a few other things. Now it's asking us which region of Azure do we want to deploy Azure AD Domain Services in, and I'll just pick East US for that. Now we've got another login prompt, and the reason for that is because when you're logging on through PowerShell, you have a login for your Azure subscription, and then separately in PowerShell, you have to log on to Azure Active Directory. And those are two separate things, even though they're very closely tied together. Now, if you're missing any of the required PowerShell modules, the script's gonna do all of that work for you and download it. You might be prompted here for something called NuGet or any of the PowerShell modules. If so, just hit yes or yes to all, and then the script will be done in just a minute. To see what's gonna happen now, we've gotta go over to the Azure portal. So over here in the top search box, type the word blueprint, click on that, and here we are in the blueprints blade. Over on the left, you wanna click on your blueprints, and there's our new AVD blueprint. Click on that and then look at the assignments. And you see the assignment here is already going, which means that AVD is already deploying. No muss, no fuss. Now, while the deployment's going on, let me tell you what's in it. Now, the way we've set up and run this code, it's meant to be done in a clean environment without any other virtual desktop resources. And this is gonna deploy everything you need for you. And that starts with Azure Active Directory Domain Services. 
Then it'll build out your resource groups and virtual networks and those supporting services. And then finally, the Azure Virtual Desktop resources themselves, which are the host pools, application groups, workspaces, and session hosts. Now, when you deploy Azure AD Domain Services, this will take roughly 30 minutes to complete. And then the rest of this will go by pretty quick. So let's just fast forward in time and our build is complete. And here in the Azure Blueprints blade, you can see all the different resources that it's created and assigned for you. This is where you'd go to edit the blueprint and change things in your environment, as well as take a peek under the hood so you can increase your automation skills. And I've got videos back on the channel for how to dig into some of that. So let's jump over to the WVD admin portal and under the host pools, you can see where our AVD Blueprint host pool is. And if we open that, there are session hosts ready to accept connections. So let's connect. Here's my AVD web client and I'm already signed in. And you can see all my resources that the Blueprint has created and made available for me. And let me click on that desktop icon to launch. And there you go, a whole Azure Virtual Desktop environment deployed for you in less than 60 minutes so that you can just get started right now. Now, for those of you who want to deploy this solution in an existing active directory environment, so that you don't have to mess around with Azure AD domain services, the GitHub repo has instructions for how to edit your files and make all that happen. And remember, it's automation that lets one person do the work of a hundred. So invest in yourself by building your automation skills and be the most valuable person in your company today and in the future. And there's nothing more valuable than to keep on learning, which you can do with this video right over here that I did on the AVD Quick Start. Go check that out and I will see you in the next episode. Happy learning.